So, on episode four of uh, the Runes of Mesro, the group was teleported to Omu. Omu is right out of the Tomb of Annihilation book, and it's meant for levels five to nine, and this group is level four. So, I am just going to let the dice fall where they may. I, to try to be fair, I rolled the random encounters in advance, so I, I don't have to worry about, you know, if I accidentally roll a dinosaur, you know what I mean? <laughs> just, whatever happens, happens, you know? Um, so last time, the party had gone into the Shrine of Kubazan and actually got a puzzle box, which is uh, three inches on the side. It has the symbol of a frog hemoth, a giant frog with tentacles, and it has three eyes. Uh, and it weighs half a pound. And I, uh, I don't know if you know what it's for. I have no idea. But you have it. We could have bluffed. <laughs> yeah. And what happened is, I guess, uh, there was a frog hemoth guarding the shrine, and you guys made friends with it. Now it's insisting that Ashley's character stay and hang out and smoke the pipe with her. So Lemuel will be over there. And so we have a special guest star today, Matthew. Who's hey. playing a lizard folk? So, you guys are in the city. You're right near the steps that enter the bowl that Omu sits in. And at the same time, you're in the street, and he's come down the stairs. And you see each other at the exact same time. So, can you describe yourself, uh, Zaz? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a lanky, green-skinned lizard folk. Uh, gecko type. I've got pads on my uh, fingers and toes. And I've got a uh, sort of skull... Skull-oriented uh, face paint, all in white, all over my face. Uh, otherwise, I've got a, a bow and a shield and a strange little wooden rapier uh, that I'm armed with, and a ton of bags of call trips. Um, yep, I, I look very comfortable. We'll say a studded leather and nothing else, and just like a little bit of it. Mostly, it's just lizard skin. So you see a scholar lady in an orange hat with a bunch of stuff. And a badass dude with tattoos and armor and a shield with the symbol of the raven on it. And then a ginormous, like, six-foot-five half-orc with black hair, middle-aged, and, like, it looks like his hands are registered as lethal weapons. <laughs> so what do you guys do? So we see him coming down the, uh, the stairs. It's like, Hello? I skitter cautiously back up a couple steps, uh, and then uh, stop, warily eyeing all of them. Well, oh, hey, uh, hi. <laughs> Hello. Well, you didn't start by throwing, by shooting us or attacking us, so this is better than what we've seen. Um, are you a visitor here, or is this your home? Oh, this is this is not my home. I am far from my tribe. Um. This isn't your home, is it? Oh, certainly not. Good, good. None of the stories involved people that look like you. Um, are you lost? You're lost, right? Well, no, I, I don't really get lost. But, uh, I'm here to see the city. And this is Omu? Yes. Oh, wonderful. I'm Lynette, we explore, and I look to you guys, I look to the rest of my party. Kyron. Well met, my name is Gel! You're like echoes. Good. Birds like take uh. flight. <laughs> well. <laughs> well, Matt, um, do you have a fan going in there? I don't, not oh. today. Alright, I don't know, I hear a little bit of buzzing sometimes when you talk. Um, okay. So you guys friends now? Ah, uh, yes. Our, our paths have crossed. And <laughs> unless you intend to eat me, I think it um, might be wise to travel together. Omu is supposed to be hellish, dangerous. Alright, um, I uh, reach out my hand as a shake to shake your hand. I stare at it, confused. Can I see your hand, please? Uh, yeah, uh, I I just want to look at it. 
Yes, I, I, I so, do extend it. <laughs> so I just kind of like read his hand. I do kind of like the same thing that I that I did to Gal. It's like, yeah, he will not kill us in our sleep. It will be at least somewhat helpful. Okay, so all of you together are in this legendary ruined city. Supposedly, somewhere in this place is the soul monger. Which is the cause of the death curse, which is causing a lot of people to slowly rot away. And Do anybody who dies can't be raised again. And we, we know that, right? We I know. think but you guys know that. I don't know if... Uh, okay. Z well, Zaz might know. It's up to him. Mm. Um, so, so right. well. you know that much. And um, so right now... Okay, <laughs> you're in the city of Omu. <laughs> so you're in the western side in the bottom corner mm. and on your side of the, the city split by a river and on your mm -hmm. side you see all sorts of interesting buildings and mm -hmm. over to the east in the bottom corner there's a big huge lake of lava and there's a big spire that's got a flat top uh, it looks like there's a building on it uh, it's good, hard to get to because <laughs> there's, there's a gap between the, you know mm -hmm. um, and there's a waterfall of water that pours into the lava and that you know connects to the river that splits the city um, so if you want to get to the western side of the city you're gonna to have to cross that river but right now you're on or I mean the eastern side right now you're on the western side and there's a whole bunch of buildings yeah and ruins yeah. vines uh, birds stuff like no, I believe I scared those off <laughs> there were a lot of birds, but they're all gone now. <laughs> and uh, it's really nice out, and it's humid, and uh, so you, there's that the Kubazan shrine to your left, um, kind of close to the the lava. You see another weird building. There's a spider in here. If it, if it crawls, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be freaky if it crawls. Roll for initiative. <laughs> it's gonna be so freaky if it crawls on, on my camera. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna vomit. But uh, we'll just see what happens. All right. All right. Um, I look at our new uh, lizard man friend and say, "Do you have a name?" Yes, I'm called Zaz. Called Zaz. 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 And Zaz, what brings you to this city? I've been sent here to survey the city and alert my tribe of any dangers uh, or threats that may emerge from it. Ha ha ha! Well, you just missed one. Which was? A fairly large frog creature right over there, smoking. I... I'm going to take a look. I take a look. <laughs> All right, so you see uh, a shrine with a pool in front of it, and sitting at the edge of the pool is a 10, I think it's 15 feet tall, yeah. frog humanoid with four tentacles and three eyes, and sitting next to it is a, a handsome rogue dude, and they're smoking like a little corn cob pipe kind of thing. I think it's made of ivory, actually. I return. This is a strange city. <laughs> <laughs> it is indeed. So... Um, there is a there is a shrine over by the lava, and there's probably more if you go north, or you could try to cross the river. What would you hmm. like to do? Well, do we want our purveyor of magical items to figure out what this puzzle box is? Um, sure, I'll take a look at it. I guess do you, can I do a search uh, history. Do you have detect uh, magic? Um. I do. Because you think that oh. you're probably going to need to use that to learn something, according to the book. All right, I'm going to spend 10 minutes to uh, cast a ritual and detect magic on that detect thing. Detect magic, you sense abjuration magic mm. coming from it. Hmm. My hand is in the other spot. Abjuration magic. What do you feel? Some sort of abjura abjuration magic. Um, this might have some use for the city. Should probably keep keep it fairly safe the way it was uh, displayed. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I have so many magic things here. It's probably not wise to keep them all in one place. Do you want any of you want to hold on to it for right now? It's not harmful if you're. If that's yeah. Right. Who wants to hold on to the puzzle box? Uh, I mean, I I pulled it off the pedestal, so I kind of feel like I'm responsible for it. Okay. I was gonna say I got that weird eye thing. I don't want to mix. I I'd already tried to get inside me. I don't. <laughs> I want to keep it hidden for now. I immediately recoil from an offer of any strange, you know, cube. <laughs> I guess it's all me then. <laughs> okay, so there's a weird shrine by the lava. There's some buildings up to the north, or you can try to cross the river. Well, I think uh, we should take some smaller encounters before we try to go for any bigger encounters. What do y'all think? Yeah, I think we should be very, very cautious here. Yes, we should. It would be a shame for the location of this city to uh, end with us. <laughs> and despite my rather outward sounds that I create, I can be stealthy. <laughs> <laughs> I do have that skill. Does your character wear shoes? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, well. super stealthy then. So, uh, where would you like to go? Alright. Should we try north? We try the buildings? Mm-hmm. Works okay. for me. So you can Zaz, would you like to join us on our exploration of the city? Yes, please. <laughs> I don't want to die here. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to go north? Yes. Almost before we go, I'd like to hand all of my companions each one potion of healing that I found in the uh, the Mage College, so everyone has should have one of those as well. I will also go ahead and cast Aid on everybody, so everybody's oh. um, maximum and current hit points go up by five. Nice. Cool. All right. Excellent. All right. So you're heading north, right? Mm -hmm. Let's roll. Make a group perception. Perception. All right. All right. New dice. Let's see what we got. Yeah. I should have bought some new ones. But... Damn it. <sighs> Six. Okay. Twenty-one. That's good. Good. Got a twelve. Pretty good. Got a thirteen. Okay. Okay, so you're traveling down the street. You know, there's a lot of vines, and, uh, you know, some buildings are ruined, some are mostly intact. There's a lot of moss and vines covering them and weird flowers growing out of them. Some parts of the city are a little flooded, a few inches of water. Um, up ahead, around the corner, you hear quiet movement. Kind of like little feet stepping in puddles and, like, whispering. Hmm. How, how far ahead? 50 feet. Okay. Should we have someone scout ahead? And I point to to Iris. That's... She's the quietest. If she's willing... She... You're always willing, aren't you? She... Iris the ferret rolls her eyes. Okay. <laughs> So you want her to just kind of creep up and peer around the corner? Yep, be as stealthy as possible looking up there. She, she's Here comes pretty... a stealth. Mm. She, she has a plus five to stealth. Plus five? Okay. Let me make there. Oh, she... Okay, so creep, 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 right? Peeks around the corner, and you hear like a, like a shrill, ah! you know? And now you hear <laughs> running towards her, and she's like, Ugh! so we should roll initiative. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, I mean, this is going so well already. So well, well. Ah! <laughs> god, oh my god, both higher than a three. Lynette, what'd you get? Oh my, uh, four. I got four. A four for Lynette. Dice. What did Zaz get? Yeah, which one is it again? I'm sorry, it's been too long. Dexterity. I got an eighteen. Eighteen for yep, Zaz. Somebody. What about Gil? Luckily for me, I got an okay de dex. So. 
five, and then eh, I got thirteen again. Thirteen for Gil. What about Kyron? Big five. <coughs> a what? Big five. Five. Okay. Zaz, you get to go first. Oh. Fifty um, feet ahead. What? The um the weasel gets her own thing, so she has. Do, 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 do. Fifteen. Okay. Zaz. Fifty feet away, you mm -hmm. see the, the ferret peer around the corner, and then you hear screams and like it sounds like things are running towards the the is it a weasel or a ferret? I don't remember. It's a it's a weasel. Okay. Weasel ferret. The weasel is in danger. <laughs> what do you do? Oh the weasel. Sure. Uh I'd like to so it's around a corner that this is coming from, right? Um is there a way that I can move up to get a glimpse of what's coming? Uh, well, what's your speed? 35. 35. Well, you'd have to double move to peer around the corner. Oof. Um, in which case, I'm going to count the ferret as a lost cause. No! And, well, I mean... so, I mean, it's small and furry. It doesn't, it's fine. Um, less important of an ally at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and uh, prepare to attack whatever eats the ferret. Um, uh, okay. So you're going to ready? I'm going to ready and attack. So you're going to move up 35 feet and then ready? Uh, I'll move up just like 20. I don't want to be in the front line. Okay. After Zaz is the ferret. It's a, wait, is it a weasel? It's a weasel. I can't even remember. It's a weasel, yeah. Um, Iris the weasel goes So what does, what does Iris see? I can see through uh, her eyes. A bunch eyes. of like three foot tall humanoid creatures with like reptilian skin and kind of dragon like faces. Mm -hmm. There's about six of them. All right, I kind of want to keep the element surprise, so I'm going to have um, Iris just dart away from us okay. and try and find like a um, like a nook or crane that she can kind of like squeeze into okay. and just kind of like hang out. Her speed is what is it? Their speed is do, 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 thirty feet. Oh, okay. So she's going to dash. Yeah. Just... So she's going to have her go all the way. Yep. Behind you, even. Okay. So that was Iris. Next up is Gyal. 50 feet around the corner. Apparently there are creatures. What do you want to do? So you said uh, the weasel. Oh, so, yeah. So I'll just say, like, there's, like, little reptile men. They're smaller but, than him, though. They, but they're the like... weasel's hidden, so I don't need to run up there to try to help it? Nope, it's bad. It's, she's fine. You just know that there's creatures on the other side yeah. around the corner. Okay. So what do you want to do? Well... I am... Sorry, I'm trying to think. So... Sorry, I'm trying to think, sorry. Uh, no, it's alright. I just... I'm looking at what I have. Uh, my question is... I forget. Can the, can you use the dodge action on someone else, like on theirs? Like if they're attacking me, if I have the dodge action. Well, you just to... say it now, so that whole time you're dodging. You know, you can move and then dodge. You know, so okay. that's, that'll be your that'll spend your action. But anybody who attacks you, you get the benefits of the dodge. You know. Well, also because I can spend a key point to do that. Um, oh no. Well, so I'll I'll line up with. Zaz over there, and right, he's got a bow and arrow. Do you have any ranged weapons, Kel? Well, I got a spear. Okay. Um, so you're gonna get ready with your spear. Actually, I'll go right in front of him. Uh, well, not right in front of him, but I'll do my full forty. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will. Uh, I'll ready as well, and uh, I'll spend a key point so I can take. The dodge action is my bonus action. Okay. So I got three now. All right. So that's it for Gail. After Gail is... Who did I write down? That was Kyron. Um, I will uh, do my best to follow Gail. Um, I'll be about you know 10 feet behind him. Um, and then I will pull out uh, my crossbow. And already that first thing that looks suspicious that pops around that corner. I'll take a shot at it. All right, what about Lynette? 
Same thing already, a um, firebolt if uh, things get aggressive. Okay. Either by us or them. So, you're all readying, right? Mm -hmm. So, timidly, a, a head peeks around the corner, and it's a dragon headed, kind of a quivering, you know, little with little circle eyes, peeks and like looks at you and gets surprised. And it has, uh, I think it's got like a sling. So, it's like slow motion. It looks at you guys and it's like, eh. but you all get your, if you want to make your attacks, you can. Do you do that? Guys, I can I can deflect it if we want to try to see what he's saying. Oh, oh yeah. I can, like if we want to see what he has to say, I can stop that. Do we want to or do we just I are mean, we, we can try. We don't know how many of them there are. Well, you said there's 6, right? From the weasel. More. Oh. It, it might be worth a shot to try Can and... anyone communicate with them? <laughs> I mean, technically well, they haven't been aggressive yet. I mean, I could, but it would burn one of my two spell slots. Do you think it's worth a try? I'm willing to. I'll 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 catch the bullet. I'll try to catch the bullet. <laughs> so you've all readied. Are you firing or no? I'm not, because we're not doing anything unless no, someone hold. else. So nobody's right. Nobody's. Going to fire? Oh, I mean, I'm I'm gonna do it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I mean, you're. Uh you're from here, sort of. <laughs> I know that you shoot things, and then you ask them questions. Um, mm. uh, yeah, so I get a 21. You hit? How much damage? Uh, that's going to be 5 damage. Okay. So you shot an arrow? I did. So you shoot it right through the head, and it falls to the ground, dead. And you hear <laughs> screams of terror from around the corner. Yes, we frightened them. <laughs> oh, that was. <laughs> There's a lot of whispering. <laughs> All right, I think I want to do. Okay, something else is coming around the corner. It's a skunk. <laughs> it's coming right for you. It's angry. It hisses. And it's charging across the field. Do you guys do anything? I mean, I don't know if you lose your ready if you didn't use it on that trigger or not, but I mean, I, do you do anything? <laughs> on this. Just look away from it. I want to get that in my eyes. Okay, well, it's just double moving. And from okay, yeah, that's the fine. corner, you hear, like, rocks crumbling and uh -huh. squeaking and scratching noises. Hmm. All right, uh, and that's it for my turn. Zaz! Oh, wait, I'll, let me roll to see who the... who the. Uh, it should be coming after the murderer, but the... So, Monk... The skunk is right next to you, and like turning, starting to turn its butt towards your direction, and it is uh, Zaz's turn. Um, my direction or his direction? You. I mean, he's behind you, so it was gonna go for him, but since you're in front, it, it'll make a detour. And I'm gonna give defend you my a face full of yeah loving. I will defend myself and my allies from this ignomia, like ignomia is, is fate. So, itself. Yeah. Who knows uh, what's going to happen on its next turn? I'm going to try to send this arrow. <laughs> just going to try to clog it up, you know? It could uh, be dinner. Wants that. Nobody wants anything coming out of that. Um, I'm going to get a 16. You hit! Right. Yes, okay. Um, it's food, at least. For someone. Yeah, I mean, I'll eat it. Um, yeah. that's, uh, that's another five damage. Right through the sphincter. Boom! It's dead. Cool. There's an explosion of skunk odor. Gil! Oh, oh! It has no effect. It just smells really bad. It's sticking to your clothes and, and your epidermis. Is that it for a Zaz? I blame this one on you, Zaz. <laughs> I've saved you twice. <laughs> um, anyway. It'll make you more that's, terrifying. Uh, it's okay. That's my turn. I'm going to go ahead and put... I'm gonna back up a little bit too, cause like things are charging now. I want to put a little bit more distance between me and it. But yeah, I'm gonna knock in the arrow and be. Okay. Next up is Iris the Weasel. Ooh. All right, Iris is just gonna run straight to me. Just get on my shoulder. All right. Uh, after Weasel is Gel. Gel, you reek of skunk odor. It's kind of like the gas station, but worse. 
What do you do? There were creatures around the corner. None of them have popped around. Right now, there's no enemies in sight. What would you like to do? There's a dead... There's, right in front of you is a dead skunk. There's an arrow that went... Right through the pooper, right out the mouth. It's horrible. Ew. Well, Does just anybody about, deserve okay. that? I don't know. I think that's a horrible thing. It's it's on a spit already now, so I mean, we just have to <laughs> roast it. Yeah, what was gonna say? Uh, so it's on a spit. We we kill animals like this. It's much more efficient. Dinner. <laughs> <laughs> How far away is Zaz from me? He just backed up. How far did you back up there, Holmes? Uh, uh, I backed up uh twenty feet. Dang it! <laughs> oh wait, no. I got it. So I'll uh, first thing I'll do is I'll uh, take that lovely skunk, throw, toss it at Zaz, and be like, "Here's your kill." <laughs> I'm like a dog in a frisbee, you know. I just leap and grab it. Oh no! All right, just roll the hit in case you roll a one or a twenty. Go. I have rolled a nineteen. You caught it. What'd you get, Gal? Uh, 13. Okay, so he, he flings it at you and you catch it just out of reflex? <laughs> With my teeth! No! Yeah. I, I, oh. <laughs> Make a con save. Oh, oh no. Good. Okay. What's the worst? Got a, got a nine. <laughs> What's the worst thing? Okay. It, happened. it doesn't taste good. So you bite well. down on its side. So, like, blood comes out of the mouth, Aye. and more spray mm. comes out of the butt. Oh, you retch with the gland. And, you know, you, you retch, you know, <laughs> you feel you're safe. <laughs> Alright, that's disgusting. Wait, are, are skunks native to, like, cult? Do they make it in the jungle? Or is this a strange encounter for me? It is a little strange, yeah. There okay. are skunks, but it is a little... Oh. Okay. It's a little off the theme, you know. And then, oh, it's so much so, head, possibly. So you said uh, we heard, uh, we heard like rock stuff happening, right? Mm -hmm. Behind the wall. Yeah. Uh, You're feet can I start right checking like tops of the buildings and stuff like that? Look around the area. You do see make sure the that... building um or on the corner. You do see movement on the roof now. Mm. I do. So. I I let my team know, guys, there's things on the roof. Back up another, we'll say, 10 feet to kind of form up closer to them. Right. But mostly I just want to kind of, yeah, get a closer line. All right, after Gail is Kyron. Um, I am going to, Kyron is going to, um, back up and get with the rest of the group. Um, and then for my action, I'm going to cast Thaumaturgy um, and make my voice three times louder. And in this massive commanding voice, I'm going to tell them to come down and fight. Show yourself. Make like a, to, whoever, to whoever is on the roof or behind making that noise. Make like an intimidation or something. Uh, 13. Hmm. Okay, there's no immediate response. Uh, do you want to do anything else? Uh, no, that'll be good. After Kyron is Lynette! Alright, I look at Iris, and it's like, if these are hostile, you want to show them a little trick? And I boop her on the nose, and I cast uh, Dragon's Breath. <laughs> That's my bonus action. And then, um... I already a firebolt if anything attacks us. Okay. <laughs> Alright. But she's not going anywhere yet. Oh, it's not her turn. Nope, no, she's it's not her turn yet. Alright. Alright. After Lynette is me. So Lynette, you were ready. Slow motion. Mm -hmm. You know, there's like a lip on the roof. Mm -hmm. A bunch of creatures, like their heads appear and they got their slings. Mm -hmm. And you can open fire if you want, Lynette. Um, yeah, well I'll just give them a Show force before we. That is a two twenty-three. You hit how much damage? That is eight points of damage. Okay, boom. So it was a fireball, right? 
Mm -hmm. you, you hit it, it's on fire. It waves its arms as it falls over the side of the building to the ground below. This is even more efficient. <laughs> All right, so the other four are going to fire slings. At who? I don't know. Well, we'll roll for each one, I guess. First one is going to attack Lynette. Plus four. Ten? Does that hit Lynette? Ten does not. The second one is goes God. for Kyron. God. Thirteen on Kyron? Nope. The next one goes for Gil. Critical hit I'll on Gil! Catch it. Oh my... Oh, I'm into sling. All right, it's so uh, so I'm gonna roll. So, all right, you're gonna take seven damage from a sling bolt. So hold the on, last, I got who does the last one attack? Another Kyra. Yeah, roll a d10. Right. All right. Oh my God, I rolled a 19, 23 on Kyron. Yeah, that'll hit. <laughs> you take a cool four damage, and now. You hit the mother load. Uh oh. Then one other dude with all this weird stuff on him. He's got. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, oh no. He's got a big thing. Slow motion. Who's closer to the building? Not. Not. Kyron. So probably. Kyron's close. Probably Lynette is close. The other two probably aren't. So let me, uh. Let's see. One, two, three is Lynette. Oh, Kyron. Oh my. This big oval thing making a buzzing noise comes flying at you. Uh, oh, oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, <laughs> so never good. it lands at that's your feet. Never good. And it turns out it is a wasp nest. Wasps. <laughs> like start covering all around you. It's a swarm of wasps. Uh, and good thing we got that fire. <laughs> um, 14, does that hit you, uh, Kyron? It does. No. I just kind of turtle inside my armor. Okay, so it's but you you're getting maybe some well they're they haven't made it through your armor yet, so there's a swarm of wasps harassing you. If if Artist Simber was with you, I could finally use the bees, but he's not here. Ah, uh. Zaz, your turn. Oh, and so what they do is they pop up, they make their attacks, and then they disappear again. So. You don't so, see them. They're up on the do roof. I still do I not? Did it miss the uh, thing that I, I couldn't catch the the bolt? How the, do you the catch that? How does that work? So the, for uh, deflect missile, what it is is so it depends on how much damage you, you throw at me, and then I do a, a d10 plus my de dexterity plus my monk level to catch it. If I get it down to zero, I catch it. Okay. And then I can immediately throw it back uh, with proficiency. Do it. Roll a d10. All right. Come on. So five plus, well, I got a dexterity of two, so that already gets me, and then I'm a level four monk. Okay. So So you catch it, and you throw it back? <laughs> nice. Yeah, so uh, I'm trying to see if it's anything. Yeah, so it's just a, counts as a monk weapon, but that doesn't really make a lot of difference. All right, so yeah, it's normal range for me is 20 feet. For the just attack. roll the hit. Let's see what you get. Oh, sorry, Rega. Got to change the dice. Sorry, I'm using these because my cat got hold of all my dice. <laughs> all right, I got 16. Oh my god, how much damage? Oh, it's... Does it do the same damage it would have done to you, or do you roll the damage? It's like a monk weapon, so I think you just use your martial arts die for it. Uh, I think dice so, sword, yeah. I think. So it's a 1d4, I believe. Uh, yeah. Okay, so d4. Three. Do you add anything to that? Like dex or anything or strength? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, dex. Yeah. Ooh, wow. So, and your dex bonus is plus two? Yeah, for now. Okay, so, so he shoots it, you catch it, and you throw it right back. Right in the eye. He's dead. He's hanging on the on the roof, dangling over the side. Blood starting <laughs> to stream down the building. Okay, that was slow motion. All right. So anyway, so Zaz's turn. Yeah. Uh, so the the guy that uh, did he look the same? The guy that was throwing the wasp's nest. They're all the same kind of creature, but that yeah. one had different gear. 
He's got a backpack full of weird stuff. Okay. Um, and he disappeared as well, right? Yeah, they're all like, there's a lip of the roof, so they backed up so you don't have an angle on them. All right. Oh, well, I'm going to back up a little bit further. Uh, maybe another 25 feet or so. Get as far on the other side of the street from them as I can so that I've got as good of an angle as I can. And I'm going to wait for that guy to pop up again. I'm going to try to nail him as soon as he uh, shows his face. No. Okay. Next up is Weasel. All right. I'm going to have, uh, if I can, Iris uh, climb up to the... Uh that portion of the roof and see what's up there. Okay, so scamper, 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 up mm -hmm. the line or whatever. Mm -hmm. She slow motion, like, looks up, and so she sees um, a total, I think, of four kobolds. Mm -hmm. Three are loading their slings, and one is going through his awesome backpack. How close are they to uh, to Iris now? Uh, How close are they? I don't know. 15 feet. Oh, that's a good spot. All right, so... As her action, Iris is just going to kind of like, kind of like hold back and then just like exhale, like just a cone of fire, ah! fifteen foot cone of fire. Okay. And so, any creature stuck in that, um, make a deck save. So your weasel goes up there, and they they like look at your weasel, and your weasel looks at them and is like, <gasps> yeah, yeah. And like, ah! All right, ridiculous so, coming out, so, tiny so, animal. All right, one. Two me um, one definitely failed. Okay, so DC is fourteen, fourteen. probably plus one, so probably 15. fourteen. Yeah, fourteen. So but one rolled save. a natural one. Okay. So three d six. It's fire. They have five hit points. <sighs> three seven nine. So nine is the is the max damage. So the ones who made their save take half. Mm -hmm. Okay. So one is dead, and the other two are on fire and screaming in terror. Luckily, the backpack guy is fine. He just looks at your weasel, and he's flipping through his bag. And for a second, you see a scorpion and a basket with creatures in it and vials. He's trying to choose how to get revenge. He's also looking at oh, for an escape route. <laughs> mm -hmm. and he looks terrified of your weasel. All right. All right. Uh, so your weasel moved a bit. Most of her moved, but she can move a little more if you want. She's just gonna duck back down, put her head back down. All right. And I just say to the to the party through her eye, like I can see through that through her eyes, like he's gonna throw more stuff or he's gonna run. All right. You should stop him before he gets his friends. Next up is Gao. How many are up there now? Uh, You're not sure from where you are, but it sounds like there's three. Two of them are on fire and screaming, so I can hear that. How tall is smoke. this build? How tall is this building? It's like twenty feet tall. Twenty feet tall. I'm not. I'm not gonna be able to make that. <laughs> so you're gonna run over and climb? How far away am I from the building? Mm, the other two are closer, so you're probably like twenty feet away from it. Okay. Uh, how much of my climb is that gonna take in my action? It takes, like. Climb is basically like half speed. So if you wanted to climb 20 feet, you'd need to use 40 feet of movement total. So if you double moved, I mean, you would get up there, but that would be all that you could do. And even if I used a, one of my, like, I have two more key points, if I used one of those to do a double up. Uh... Yeah, that would be good, yeah. Okay, so... So that's what it does, it, it doubles your speed? So uh, it allows me to take a dash action as a bonus action. Okay, so you can move and then dash... Uh, you will have to make a climb check, though. So, I mean, it's not going to be a hard one, but if you fail it, you won't you won't get up with that move, okay? Okay. So you move yeah. close. Now you're going to climb. Go ahead and make a climb check. I think that's athletics. Sure is. So Gail runs over, climbs the vines, sees the weasel. Uh, Still reeks of skunk. <laughs> they, they know I'm coming. They smell you <laughs> I coming. can't hide that. All right, uh, you said athletics? Yeah. All right, so that's uh, 13. Actually, sorry, 15. Okay, so you climb up, and you're on the roof. You use your dash and your move. So I only have one key point left. And so you see two kobolds on fire, flailing their arms and running around, panicked. 
and the last guy, the badass guy with the huge backpack full of stuff going through it. Like, both angry and afraid. So you have an action left. What would you like to do? He's like 20 feet away or something like that. 20 feet away, you say? Yeah. Um, I don't think I can... I don't think I can close that distance, so I'm going to throw my spear at that guy. No. Okay, go ahead. Alright, so roll, roll the hit. Oh, yeah. So I got a, a 20 to hit, not a natural 20. How much damage? 20. And then uh, it's a D, 1d6 piercing. I might as well just roll that one. So, uh, it's a four. Well, plus my dex, right? Or yeah, so six up? total then. Okay. He's, the spear hits him. He's hurt. Blood's coming out of the wound, but he's still alive. He's tougher than those other guys. Okay. So you threw your spear at him. All right. After Gail is Kyron. What do you want to do, Kyron? Am I, like, surrounded by wasps? <laughs> in a swarm right, that's of not wasps. Funny. That's... They're a monster. So. Um, <laughs> is there a body of water of significant size nearby? Uh, there, yeah, there's probably like some buildings are a little flooded, so nearby okay. buildings. Yeah. Alright, so I will um, I will make for one of those buildings and try to immerse myself in water. Okay. And, and just kind of submerge and try to get the wasps off of me. Okay. That seems to work. After Karen is Lynette. Um, so, oh, it's probably going to take a little while to get up that. Two moves to get up that. Uh... So I'm just going to go parallel to the wall that the uh, creatures are on. And then just, like, ready in action to um, to shoot a fireball if anyone sticks their uh, their nose over the edge. All right. So, the two kobolds that are on fire panic, they run to the side, and they just jump off. <laughs> and they die when they hit the ground. Oh my god! <laughs> the last one! Oh god. He's gonna run, but he's gonna leave a present for the monk on the way out. Uh, he pulls out a basket and throws it at you! And suddenly... Would you say it's a missile? <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Yeah. So, okay, uh, hold on. I, so how uh, does this work now? Does it have to do damage? Yeah, the damage you take from the attack. Oh, okay. How do we do this? Let's let me see something because it's not so it's not going to do damage to you. So here's what it is: he throws the basket, and as it's flying in slow motion, you see centipedes flying out of it, and so it's like coming at you, and it's not going to do damage, but the centipedes are going to do damage if they hit. So let me just roll the attack for the centipedes to see if they hit you. And I rolled an 18, so they do hit you. Okay, <laughs> so, uh, swarm damage, I think it's like, I don't remember off the top of my head, it's probably like, so we'll say it's like five points, so you can do your thing, and if you catch it, then you throw the basket back at him. Okay, alright, so you said 18? Centipedes! Oh, that was okay. to hit, yeah, but you, you took five damage, so I think you just oh, have to- Oh, five damage, oh, so I can, I can throw this basket back at him. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh my god, please, okay. please. And then, Dex. So, that'll put me at uh, eight. Okay. So, oh my he God. throws a basket of centipedes at you. You catch it and whoosh, throw it right back at him. Uh, Hits him in the it. chest. Centipedes okay. cover his body. He screams. He's on the, he lies down. Ah, ah, you know, and he's, he's done for, but he's not, he's not dead. But he's, he's right now getting killed by the very swarm that he's sicked on you. Okay, so we're out of combat mode. What do you guys want to do? There's one kobold on the roof uh, covered in centipedes that are killing him. Uh, what do you guys want to do? I um, I will come out of whatever building that I went into mm -hmm. and just miserable like a wet cat. Um, this is the worst day ever at this point. <laughs> uh, just, just in a terrible foul mood muttering to myself the whole time and I'll kind of slowly meander back to wherever they are. 
So you're all gonna like congregate on the roof? Is that the deal? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I can still eat. So what do you want? That sounds nice. I do grab one of the charred cobalt bodies though on the way, just sort of break off a leg. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> the you know, um, it's charred already, so. Okay. The centipedes haven't killed him yet, have they? No, or, no it's a very right. slow, agonizing. All right, I'm gonna have um, Iris just kind of like, ch like kind of get rid of the uh, centipedes, combination of fire breath and biting. Oh, okay. All right. So uh, Iris starts kicking centipede ass. She'll be done in a minute. Then we can talk to him. Figure out where his friends so... are. Okay. Iris, right. can you start at the legs so that way I can tie it up as you go along. Okay, so Iris gets rid of the centipedes, and you tie it up. You're tying up the kobold. He's still alive, but he's got bites all over him. So what do you uh, what do you want to do? He's like, he's in a lot of pain. Centipedes are poisonous, right? Or sorry, venomous. Sorry, guys. Sorry, my bad. My bad. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Uh, also, um, um, Lynette and Kyron, there's a really rotten skunk odor <laughs> up here. And the kobold's mm. starting to retch, too. Frickin' uh, Gale and Zaz smell like a skunk's butthole. Like, it's bad. So I say there's there's a really nice spa-like building over there that I was just enjoying. I highly encourage you to go over there and take a dip. Because you stink. <laughs> or we can pretend you're some sort of hideously smelling creature. Or a wear ah, Let us feast on these kobolds and go take a bath. <laughs> <sighs> So what do you want to do with the tied-up kobold? Um, should we question it, or should we put it out of its misery? Um, I bark at it in Draconic. Uh, how how many of your kind are in this city? Uh, he does speak Draconic. He says, about 20, sir. <laughs> There's 20 more of them around here. Do you have any ointment? Please. <sighs> Does anybody have any ointment? <laughs> Actually, anyone get a I mean, uh, kobold ointment? How much do. use will he be alive? I turned to him and asked, "How much use are you gonna be alive?" Ve very <laughs> useful. He says, "Really useful." So I'll take out uh, some of the the paste that we used in Mesro to keep the bugs away. And I'll kind of, uh, kind of show it to him, and basically say, if you help us, we got some ointment for you. And I'll have, uh, I'll have Zaz translate that for me. Uh, he does understand calm. He can speak calm. Oh, he does. Yeah. So he goes, um, all right, all right. What? Sure. I'm just doing me job. And what job is that? I'm not supposed to talk about it. Well, I think, considering the circumstances, you probably should talk about it. Fixing the shrines. That's what. Who, uh, who wants you to fix these shrines? Me boss. Does your boss have a name? Yes, I just need to look real quick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it starts with an S. I know that much. Uh, Alright, where are you, buddy? The soul monger? He's <laughs> the soul monger! Uh, <coughs> dead explorers, wilderness. Uh, it, was, it was still something or other. He's a kobold, he is. Mm. Our job, there's nine shrines in the city with traps in them! And we, uh, when, when, when. People come here and uh, defoil them. We go in there and fix them. Do these uh, do these shrines have, let's say, cubes in them? That's right, the puzzle cubes, mate. Oh, wait, what? I what, do, uh, what do what do the what do the puzzle cubes? What's their purpose? What do they do? Something to do with the tomb of the nine gods. It is. 
Interesting. And you said there were nine shrines? Nine shrines. That's Is there right. a shrine for each god? That's right. You killed my I... skunk, you bastard. <laughs> you were gonna kill our weasel. It's true, I was going to kill your weasel. She would have been fine. That skunk was me best friend. You should pick better friends. You could pick your your nose, and you could oh, pick your friend's nose. Don't, don't, don't. So, but I had a skunk. <laughs> uh, yeah. His name is Kakaro. Okay. You know, what are mess with him. He's a sorcerer. He is. Wait, your your skunk was a sorcerer? No, no, no. <laughs> no, I'm talking about <laughs> Kakaro. The sorcerer, the, the kobold leader. Oh. Why does he fix these shrines? Did someone tell him to, or is it him? Did someone tell us to? Yep. Who? That's right. Oh, he's a big scary fella. Aserak. <laughs> he's a... Well. He's like a wi He's a wizard. Or something. And he, mm -hmm. he's somehow connected uh, to the tomb of the Nine Gods. Somehow. Where is this Kakaro, Kakaro at? Where's his camp? Where are you camped? We, you leave him alone, right? You know, we're I we're just, just want, maintenance workers. I just want to know so we don't intrude. If I'm not telling you. He's not my friend, but come on now. What kind of Kobo, do you take me for? Alive. Can I please have? That's very funny. <laughs> Don't make me do that. Just leave them alone, and they'll leave you alone. That's what we plan on doing. We don't want to disturb him. Well, we just want to avoid him. Well, okay. Just if you just go to the shrines, you're fine. Or if you got the big balls on you, go ahead and go to the. Uh, the big amphitheater, way up in the top corner. That's where the King of Feathers is, he is. What is this King of Feathers? He's got feathers on him, he does. A lot of things have feathers, what is he? He's a dinosaur, the biggest dinosaur you'll ever see. Well, that's appropriate for here. What will happen? If you see a big feather on the ground, you should run, because that means he's near boy. Oh, definitely. What will your boss do when your patrol does not come back? Will they send more, or will they just go on like you never existed? I don't know. I don't know. He'd probably get mad. He might send someone to see what happened. Let's say, uh, let's say hypothetically speaking, one of those puzzle cubes was removed from a shrine for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. how, would, uh, how would your boss feel about that? Oh, that's not good. We're supposed to leave them in the shrines. In the shrines. Sure. We are. I think those you cubes are, are connected to the uh, something about the tomb. You need the shrine. Then you need the cubes for the tomb or something. I don't know. Mm, like some sort of key. Right. If we were to, uh, if, if we, we were to like go into know. another shrine. Would you be familiar with the traps and their layouts? Nope. The only one I knew how to do is Kubazan. <laughs> and you killed the others, you goofball. Wait, so... And not that I'm condoning, like, ruining their blue-collar gig here, but... If we sought out your tribe and we captured every kobold, would there be, like, an expert to all the traps in your village? No! <laughs> Run, Kakarot! <laughs> no! Maybe, but probably not. Be ridiculous. I'd, I'd maybe, like to do though. an inside check, but I'm pretty so sure stupid. I need to. Huh? What, Kyra? So I, I want to do an inside check, but I'm pretty sure I don't need to. <laughs> it might be just... That's a DM screaming. <laughs> That's a stupid idea. 
they'll they'll swallow a pill so fat they'll 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 just be they'll commit suicide before they tell you anything. Why haven't you committed suicide then? Yeah. Well, I don't want to go in the soul manga. You you get. Well, do, do your friends want to go on the soul manga? I I don't no. see the disconnect here. Are they more loyal than you are? My, my damn skunk is in the soul manga. You bastard. Oh, so you go in the Soulmonger when you die. That's right. That's interesting. And then, hmm. uh, I think they use your soul for some kind of power or purpose. So, I... you, so it would benefit you not to die. Is that correct? Yes. Oh no. Oh no. Just... We lost one. <coughs> <coughs> or did he move to the side? Let's just say, what should we do with him? He's on the side, Just... isn't he? I see somebody on the side, that's so weird. Hmm. Oh, that's you, oh, no. okay. Yeah. <laughs> what will you do once you're healed? I'll just go on my merry way. I... don't think we should do that. good accent, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go on my merry way! Here. <laughs> right! <laughs> Alright then! Cheerio! I... <laughs> uh, it's like, is it Australian or is it British? I don't know. <laughs> when does the next enough. patrol come through? <laughs> what? When does the next patrol come through? Oh, not for a while. How Tomorrow long? morning. Although, when we don't oh, that's report like... back, Kakarot will probably send someone out to see what happened. Yeah, that's like three, three kobold years. That is a while for him. I was gonna say, we could... Leave him tied up to be found by his friends if we don't want to kill him. But what good will that do? We have a guide. Unwilling guide, but a guide. It would be a shame to throw away someone as knowledgeable about the area, even if he doesn't know anything about the uh, shrines. He knows his way around here. Just a little bit. Not much, really. Am I going to have to get out the name list in Xanathar's Guide to Everything? <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. Oh, why, do, why don't you tell us your name? <laughs> yeah, am I, am I have to carry a, another person. <laughs> I always end up when that's carrying name, people. Right? I, mean, he, I mean, he doesn't weigh that much. He weighs like 20 pounds, Max. Uh, and I'm not carrying a lot of stuff. I'll still be fast. Just, we'll just like, you know, hog tie him and then just you know, carry him as a backpack. <laughs> Would it be considered a shield? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Half cover. Kobold cover. My name... My name is Werbin. Werbin. W-H-U-R-B-O-I-N. Werbin. Kobold. Inventor. Can I have my things, please? Mm -mm. I think your life is pretty valuable enough, don't you think? Alright, what do you want Not from Not ending old... up in the Silmonger? What do you want from old Werbin, alright? What's the deal? What should we... Look at the party. What do we want from Werbin? What well, do you want from me? I kind of, like, take... Step aside, just to the rest of the party. Say, well... A safe place to rest would probably be yeah. extremely valuable. After that, we can figure out more if we need more information from him. Yeah, I want to know what's in that spire. And he seems terribly afraid of death, so maybe you find that useful. <laughs> Why? Well, aren't, aren't, aren't most things, though? <laughs> well, now with the, uh, the soulmonger. What, what is a soulmonger? It's a thing that eats your soul, so when you die... Oh, it's not the end. It's like, oh, they've got your soul, and they're gonna do all the things with it, and you'll be dead forever. They can't bring you back to life. You don't go to another plane when you die. You're just gone forever. Sounds like a cobalt superstition. Hmm. We should give it Sal. Says the lizard folk. We should give it the pace. Where's your battle paint? Oh, Mate. Uh, on my face. Let me guess. You got you got yourself a spear, right? <laughs> Stone Age technology with those turds. I mean, I like lizard folk. 
So where are we going? <laughs> Let's throw him in some water. Just for like a minute or something. Uh, you're the one who needs to go in water. You smell like a skunk's shitter. <laughs> My yeah, best I friend's final video. spew. <laughs> he got you good, he did. Good job, Spooky. Uh, uh, Rest in I'm, peace. I'm not having an insult match with the kobold. Let's go. <laughs> I miss my friend so much already. He used to curl up with me at night. <laughs> me and my skunk. Take him for walks. Well, you know? I'm, I'm tired of listening to him, so... <laughs> Breathe I'm in gonna, the fumes of the lava, you know? I'm gonna gag him. <laughs> I'm gagging him. Alright, guys, let's find a place to rest. I don't think we should stay here, though. No, certainly not. So you want him to show you a safe place to rest? Sure. Okay. Sure. He can tell you that um, some of the buildings are dangerous. Some of them have poisonous flowers. There's a thing called mad monkey mist, blue mist, and if it comes over you, it's bad. So he kind of knows kind of where those around here where those stay. So he can bring you to a structurally safe building with a few floors that you should be mm -hmm. safe in. So he leads right. you to one of those. It's got doors and everything that you could lock, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. All right. All I'll, right. I'll be the one carrying him. All right. Um, who's got his big backpack? I have a big backpack, but I don't think I have... You want to search I can it? carry anymore. Oh, uh, his, back, his backpack? Yeah, yeah sure. his, yeah. yeah let's, so you let's get to it. the house, and you want to search his backpack? Yeah. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Alright, so he's got a dagger, a sling, a vial of acid, mm -hmm. a vial of alchemist fire, a pot with some kind of green slime in it, a clay pot full of rot grubs. A scorpion on a stick. Oh, he can keep that. And that's it. Like, like it's stabbed on the stick? Or is it like a stick that or has a scorpion angry. on the end? It's like a stick, stab and there's a little rope, a little thread, <laughs> and the scorpion's hanging from it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks oh. like it'll mess you up if you get too close to that thing. Well, this... Seems kind of useful. And if you have any use for any of this. Is he still gagged? Yeah, we can take oh. it off. Yeah. I guess. Those are me tools of the trade. Mm, if you are. don't know how to use them, you probably shouldn't. They're very complicated. It's a scorpion on its stick. <laughs> and you insulted my level of technology. <laughs> I invented that, you nice fella. <laughs> Who let me stay here and fed me a lot of food, probably, soon. Now be careful with those stingy, though, because he will sting you. It's an angry scorpion on a stick, of course it's angry. <laughs> I think you're anthropomorphizing it. <laughs> yeah, have you named the scorpion His name too? is Stingy! <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Leave him alone! He's helped me out of many a scrape. Okay, so you guys want to take a short rest or a long rest or what? I really need a long rest. I have. But whatever you guys want to do, if it seems dangerous. What? Sounds like you want to take a long rest. I think this so. This whole place seems dangerous, but if we need a yeah. long rest, a long rest. Yeah, I have a lot of things to look over. During our long rest, I don't really need to recover. I'm pretty fresh. I'm very excited about being in the city. I, I want to use my primeval awareness ability, though, to get an idea of what sort of undead are around within a five-mile radius. Oh, that's... <laughs> five-mile radius. Oh. <laughs> because I, I want to make your life terrible, is what I want to do. Like, how many blips on the map are there going to be? Is it gonna be one, <laughs> or is it going to be entirely red? Um, well, it sounds like 5,000 pings. Okay. okay. Oh, okay. He, now, okay, first of all, when you do this, use this sense, you sense a big gaping void that it's like Superman can't see through lead. It's that Ooh. kind of thing up in the the northeastern section of the city. Ooh. In this city, you <coughs> sense, uh, let's see here. I know there's three. How, how specific is this? Oh, let's see. Like, do you tell exactly, or is it just, you just list off what's within the five-mile radius? 
Well, no, I can sense whether any of my so undead uh, reveals which of my favorite enemies are present. Uh, it's only undead right now. It tells me their numbers and the creature's general direction and distance and miles from me. Okay. Uh, so you can ah that thing you can paper over some of that. I don't want to know exactly well, first every of all, group. Of the jungle around. all around is full of undead. Oh cool. yeah, cool. in I mean, city, cool. slightly to the north. Um, before you get to the big void, you would get to three undead creatures. Uh, anything else? Mm -hmm. There's three. Oh. There might be like a straggler here and there in the city. Sure. There's three pretty potent undead creatures in a, in a group. Um, so to, slightly to the north, and then there's that big void. And all around the city, there's just tons of yeah, skeletons, yeah. a lot of zombies, zombie dinosaurs, you know? It's, oh, yeah. It's like, like you, you were three? out there, so you know. It's full those of three? That, that'll be a good story. I, I'm i going to hunt those things down later. All right, so uh, you guys take a long rest? Mm -hmm. You do anything else special during your rest? Uh, um, I, I will kind of mess with the puzzle cube a little bit just to see if you know there's anything that I recognize symbols wise. On or... Every side is the same symbol of a frog hemoth. Every side, it's like indented into it. That's about okay. it. Doesn't like open up or anything. No. Okay. All right. Um. So for house game, we have a little bit of time. I want to identify those um, three potions I took from the uh, Mage College. Oh, boy. Um, ah, sorry for that one. <sighs> oh, no. I don't know if I have that. That's all right. Uh, if not, they were we'll just... weird. Uh... They were weird, yeah. I have the colors and everything on here, so I we can... I have, to, I have to tell you for next time. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, sounds good. All right. They so were all special roll... wild magic ones. Mm -hmm. and... So I'm just gonna, um, I'll send you that later, but, um, okay. I'm gonna roll for my, um, divination stuff, so, for the day, I have a crit and a 12 for my divination. So you can replace those, right? So yep, roll. with anything. So that's <laughs> okay. and a 12. That's good. And I think that's it for... Okay. So, uh, you rest for the day and probably the night. Uh, you you hear you know in the distance a roar every once in a while and the sound of lots of different animals, but, uh, and the kobold snoring you know, and that's about it. So you wake up the next day fully refreshed. And uh, what would you like to do now? You know, to the north there's some uh, undead. Over to the side there's a river you can cross. There's a strange building right near the lava. What would you um, I'll want? ask. I'll ask uh, Warbin um, where the nearest shrine is. He explains to you that the thing right near the uh, lava is a shrine, and that mm -hmm. there is a shrine to the north, basically where he sends the undead. And there's a camp from the last group of adventurers to come in here. To, the last group of adventurers to come in here. Here. Right. Okay. The implication, the implication being that they all died. Werbin, is that what you're saying? Uh, I, I don't know what happened to them. I think they got into the tomb. Actually, really, they had a yellow banner. They did. There was a lot of them. Have and you seen they... the Walking Dead around here? Yep. In the city. Sometimes. Do they happen to have blue triangles on yep. them? Oh yeah, they're they're from Ross Nissi. They are. Yeah, we're familiar. He left the city. He's been gone for a few days. So, does he come? Does he like make his residence here? Yep. Good times. We need to have a chat with uh, Mr. Ross Nissi. Well, I guess I'll be going then. Thanks, everyone. No, 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 no. Come no, here, Stingy. Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't know if we untied him. I don't oh. know. Consider yourself part of the party now. Oh, right. oh. Uh -huh. Do I get treasure? 
We survive, you survive. And you don't end up in the soul longer. Yeah. Sure, why not? I don't really have any choice now, do I? Can I have my stinger? And my, <sighs> my other fun things? My acid? My alchemist flask? Flisk? Consider your, uh... <laughs> I think I have a basket. Of, oh, your, I got, I got a bowl of green slime. Information. Huh? At this point. Consider us your protection and your information, your help. Can I have my dagger and my sling? No. <laughs> but Iris will protect you. It's okay. You saw what she did. Alright. That sounds good. She ain't gonna replace Stinky, though, that's for sure. <laughs> Did you still smell like Stinky, by the way? Mm. Making me cry a little bit. We'll find All right, so uh, yeah, he says that there's the the shrine. There's a shrine near the lava. There is a shrine to the north a bit, and he says there's there's more shrines across the river too. There's nine total. Odo. There's nine so, uh, total. do we want to go? Do we want to go shrine uh, shrine diving here? I don't know a well, little about the shrines, but I can tell you a little bit. Puzzle pieces to be able to. Yes. I really? think we should go to the shrine to the north that he mentioned. Yeah, undead is uh, is worrisome. Yeah. So you're, they're probably... so you're gonna go to the north? <laughs> well, I'll say, wait, before we go, can, can I wash off first? If we're Please. trying to hide, I should oh probably God. not be a... Yeah. a sword. For, for the love of God. God none, <laughs> of this stuff, none of these potions are perfume, so please, <laughs> please. I tried. So, I, I wash myself. Yeah. Now, wa water, the water really works against like skunk oh. juice, does it? Mm. Can I like work up some sort of herbal fluid with uh, <laughs> things to to neutralize it? Maybe that'll be my my best addition to the party as a as a guest member. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. Nope, I got a five on my nature check. Oh, man. Okay, so you're going to clean off the skunk smells best you can, and then you're going to uh, head north to the shrine? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so you're actually going to pass this. Uh, all right, so it's, again, very nice out, very humid. Mm -hmm. The birds are back making noises. <laughs> up ahead, you see the ruins of a campsite. Do you want to take a look at it or just go way around it? Um, I'll ask uh, Werbin if this is the campsite that he was talking about before. Yep, that's right. Can I have my scorpion, please? Just hold on a second. Uh, grown ups are talking. Um, do <laughs> do we want to do we want to check it out? See if there's any kind of clue to what we might be facing here. Yeah, it might be. They might have some written logs or something like that in there. It might be worth as long as it hasn't been ransacked already. Yeah. So, so we'll, it's, take, we'll, we'll take a quick. It's a trap. Should we scout it first? That would be a good idea. Sure. All right. You scout it. There's no traps. So All right. Check it out. Yeah. Yep. Amid the ruins is an abandoned campsite. Torn backpacks and rotted gear litter the ground around the three moldering tents. At the center of the camp, a scrap of dirty yellow cloth hangs from a crude wooden flagpole. Hmm. It's like it's been um, here for a while. Yeah. I'll, is there any any marking on the the cloth? Just plain yellow. Does does this mean anybody to or anything to anybody? Am I allowed to talk now? Sure, we're maybe I shouldn't say yet. anything. Maybe you should say something. <laughs> it's part of the Yellow Banner. Company of the Yellow Banner. Hmm. Can we go now? <laughs> Why are you so nervous? Well, we're out in the open. You never know when the King of Feathers is going to come stomping around. It would be a shame if he came and killed you when I ran away. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, that's optimistic. <laughs> that bad. Um, I'll just take a quick glance through like the gear and stuff, see if there's anything of use. You go look through the gear and you find a piece of moldy parchment. There's mm. writing on it. Is it a language that I recognize? Eh, yes, it is. It's common. Alright, I'll cool. give it a give it a once over. Alright, I'm gonna ready? Yes. Yep. Cursive. Oh. Um typed cursive. God. Rue. <laughs> Devlin has a lead on the eye of Zoltek. 
the old goat found us an obelisk to the north that marks the entrance to the tomb of the nine gods. The eye must be within, but the door is magically locked. We think the, we think the secret to opening it lies in the holy shrines. We're headed into the ruins to check them out. God's willing, we'll be back tonight. Ross Nissi's serpent people are on the prowl, so be careful. If you get into trouble, sound the swan horn twice and we'll come running. For the yellow banner, Lord Brixton. Hmm. I don't think it ended well for them. Did they ever sound the swan horn twice? Hmm. Well, this is a mark in your benefit. He was apparently telling the truth about the shrines. Well. So I was. So I was. Mm. So I was. All right. Old so, mark for so we have we have multiple we have multiple parties in here. Um, can I make a, a uh, history check to figure out who I can if I remember anything about the about any like yellow banner? We'll Go ahead and make a history. That is a uh, fourteen. You might have heard talk in Port Nine Zaru if you were there. You were. Uh, of, yeah, probably. So there's yeah, a lot probably... of adventuring groups coming through, and that was a big one, the Company of the Yellow Banner, and mm. they showed up right in the beginning of the uh, the curse. Mm. And so, you know, they a lot of people had their hopes pinned on them, but then they just never heard from them again. Mm. But there's a whole bunch of them. Ah, uh, actually, you might know some details about some of them. If I can scroll. Well, hopefully, they can be a distraction. Let's see. Oh, oh, look at that! You know, there's a guy named Lord Brixton. Ah, uh. he had a magic sword that lets you speak the language of Draconic. There was a <coughs> a dwarf cleric of Moradin human ranger who had a ghost lantern containing a spirit known as the star fallen there's a dragonborn paladin of baphomet there's a wizard named devlin bashir he was cursed he actually looked like a half goat man <laughs> and biff longsteel human adventurer <laughs> and there was also a goliath an older tough looking goliath with a beard and there was times where his eyes would like catch fire for a minute when he got angry. Mm. And he was, what was very their... violent and not so smart. What was their, um, if I know, what was their um, kind of reaction to other adventuring parts? Would they be hostile or would they be? No, yeah, they were good guys. Okay. They were on no. a quest for the Eye of Zoltek, one of something that apparently that's in the shrine. They hope. Okay. Are right, there sorry, any we'll... of those swan horns sitting around? No. no. We might have possible allies, but at worst, it might be a distraction. Also, so that's in the camp to the north right. is a place you might want to go. I don't know. Yeah, that's that's where the young men are. Yeah. Should we continue to the the shrine that we're heading to? Yes. Let's find the dead. Number ten. Oh. Okay, so this, this is a big shrine. It's got kind of an outer wall, mm -hmm. uh, but there is an entrance way, and a piece of the wall's crumbled. Cracked monoliths flank the entrance to this ruin. Saw-edged ferns grow in the courtyard between broken flagstones. A pair of stone doors provide entry to a large, flat-roofed ruin. Hmm. Is there any writing on the outside that seems similar to the... Uh... The other one? Is there any writing? Yes! It's in Old Omuin. Alright, I will um, cast Comprehend Language as a ritual and see if I can figure out what it says. Okay. So, further in, sculptural reliefs decorate the doors of the shrine. The carvings show a horned rabbit charging a small, feral looking bear with sharp claws. A cuneiform message is etched above the doors, and you translate it. Mm -hmm. It says, Ijin teaches us to take the path least expected. And Ijin is I apostrophe J-I-N. Okay. Teaches us to... 
And there's more more smaller inscriptions under the carvings mm-hmm. that tell the story of how Ijin earned the ire of Obolaka, who is a Zorbo, which is like a what do you call those Australian furry things? Koalas? Yeah, he's like a evil koala. Um, he spoiled a stew that Ijin was making. And Ijin was making that for Uptau, the god the god of Chult, you know, and uh, yeah. So they're so, they're like eternal enemies, Obolaka and Ijin. Mm-hmm. So Obolaka's like a, a drop bear. He's a Zorbo. All right. Uh, I, all right. So there's double doors. Hmm. I'll wait out here. Oh, you. Look at the party. Should he come with us? Do you, Warbin, Do you know anything about the shrine? No. <laughs> Are you telling <laughs> the truth? Oh, I sure am. Can I insight check him real quick? <laughs> you can try. <laughs> right into his eyes, his little. Oh, that is super great. Uh, twenty-nine. <laughs> he knows something. Oh. All right, Warbin, we can do this the easy way, where you just tell us what you know, or we can do it the hard way, where we extract what right, you know. I know. All right, all right, right. Out here somewhere. Is one of those little owl mirages. Right? Mm hmm. Second, a lot of people die in here. <laughs> so, I'll wait outside. Okay. Oh, you're, uh. Hmm. Maybe we should take him with us? Are you. Are you crazy? You had such a good thing going, not lying to us. Not holding the information, so... It's just a little furry thing. And out of the ground over there pops up a little rabbit with a unicorn horn. See? Hmm. It's just a little... One of the, they're delicious. That's all. Hmm. The horn's good luck. Kill it. Eat it. It's good. It's good for you. You want hmm. me to kill it? Can Stingy kill it? Can I please have my scorpion on a stick? No. I don't feel... I feel naked without him. You lost your privileges for that. With that latest... <laughs> Wait, 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 let's hear him out. I want to try one of these chips. <laughs> he comes wait. in with us, he gets stingy. Yes. <laughs> All right! Might, <laughs> this might be... Hey, oh, I like, missed you, my friend. This might Did be they treat some you sort okay? Of... Please don't. No, oh, no, he's trying to sting me. He's a little bastard. All right. All right, well, let's go. Let's go in. Don't use me for trap bait now. Should we maybe avoid hurting the, uh, the little uh, rodents? They seem to be tied to this shrine it's in some way. It's looking at you like, Yay! you know. Yay! It says, go it's the light around it. the Yay! road less traveled. So I don't know if the front doors are also the way to go. Mm. You remember the the last shrine? It said, leave something. <laughs> yeah. Take what you leave. This might be some sort of riddle. Also, I saw Monty Python. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. I have no idea what these bunnies do. Oh right, yeah, you want to look around? Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's look around see. There's. Yeah, is, it, is there another entrance? Uh, you or look just... around the shrine for another entrance. Uh, no, you do not see one after a thorough search. You're, the little Al Mirage is interested in you guys. Oh. Let's see what he does here. There he is. Hey, buddy. Uh, he starts following you guys around. Hi. One foot long spiral horn emerges from his forehead, not unlike the horn of a unicorn. Hmm. He lives in a burrow. That's it. Alright. This is so ugly. Oh, that's very cute. Get him, Stangy! Right, no, 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 no. Yeah. Well, as long as things following us, it doesn't... If it does, if it's not afraid and it follows us, we're probably going a good path. Yeah. All right. We'll go ahead in and then. I'll go ahead and go up to the uh, to the double doors. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Give him a push. You do. Yeah. With your hands. Sure. Okay. All right. You push the doors open. They swing open slowly, and 
A ten-foot-wide hallway strikes off into the gloom. Carved mm. tiles depicting various beasts decorate the hallway floor. There's 32 tiles covering a 20-foot-long, 10-foot-wide stretch of the hallway. Each tile is five feet square, and the tiles are arranged in eight rows of four. The beasts depicted on the <sighs> tiles are almirages, dragonflies, eagles, giraffes, monkeys, tigers, warthogs, and zebras. I should have sent you the handout for this. Almirages. Actually, I probably could send you the handout. I don't, I don't trust that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, continuing the Maybe. the Indiana Jones theme here. Just remember, in Latin, Jehovah Swarthy. <laughs> we should probably stop there, actually, because we're almost out of time. And you should have the handout for this, I think. Okay, cool. I mean, I could send it to you now, but we only have about eight minutes. So, hmm. Do you, you want to wait till next time? That's fine. That's fine. If, if, if that would be easier. Sure. Zaz is alive. I made it. Make, what, what might happen if Ashley makes it next time? She'll show up and be like, "The frog is lonely." <laughs> Zaz, it seemed to like everyone you. needs their chance. Ta ta tag me in. <laughs> Keep it happy. <laughs> All right, so we'll stop there. You survived. That was a <laughs> random encounter I rolled. I was like, because there's some really hard.